Last week, I got two new clients, totaling $4,000 more at the end of February. So today I thought I would walk you step by step on how I did that and how you can change your own processes to make it happen for yourself as well. All right, so the first client actually booked a call with me and they did mention in that form that they came from Upwork. They gave me their email, a little brief of what they do, what they want us to do together, the service they're interested in, the budget they said to be the fine, which <laughs> I was kind of afraid of that because I always ask for a budget to make sure that neither I or them are wasting our time if it's not a fit. The to be the fine may mean I have no fucking clue, or it may mean I have no money, or I'm just scoping out to see what you can do. So yeah, it may lead to a little bit of waste of time. So I actually did respond to this client to clarify. And I said, so my rates for social media management start at this. Is that okay with your budget? And they said, yes. So we went on with a call. If you feel like at some point, a lot of clients are coming to you without enough of a budget, it may mean that you need to filter out that. And this can be by having prices on your website or on your upper profile and having that pretty clear. So there's no misunderstandings, I guess. It can be also if you're applying to jobs that have a lower budget, thinking that, oh, they may be flexible with that. That can be something you can change because what I usually say is if it's not too far off from your budget, if you're charging $500, and their budget is 400 or 350 i don't know if it's close enough they may be flexible or you may be flexible or you may find a happy medium is what i like to call it where you maybe do one less thing for them and the package gets cheaper but it also makes sense for you i don't advise to just straight out offer this guy for no fucking reason but if you can find a happy medium between you two, like I just said, I think that's great. Uh, if it's like <laughs> they have a budget of $50 and your price or your rates are 500 or 5,000, don't bother. <laughs> it's likely they're just fries shopping or stay out of that, stay out of trouble. We had that call. They really like what I had to share. And then it went into obviously Upwork. They sent an offer, as you can see right here. Uh, if you don't know, this is what an offer looks like on your end. Please never do work on Upwork without accepting one of these. But yeah, that's how I got that one client. Apart from the filtering stuff, so filtering out which jobs you're applying to or filtering out what types of clients reach out to you by having prices on your socials, on your website, maybe having an intake form. But yeah, let's <laughs> let's move on to the second example. So this client sent me an invite on Upwork. So again, it pays off to have a good Upwork profile. Now, I know I will admit, been on a platform for 11 years, so I have built somewhat of a reputation there. So it may be different for you just starting out. But being said, it's not impossible. You can totally get there, especially as you start earning the rising talent, top rated, those kind of badges, and you get, you start getting more reviews from previous clients. That's where you'll start building up that trust and you'll start getting more clients reaching out to you, which is always nice. But yeah, this client, they reached out to me. They said, Hey, would love for you to apply. And I sent a really casual, and I don't think this one, no, it didn't actually include a video. I typically try to send a video alongside my proposals. So I actually took kind of a social media marketing approach to this. If you've been on TikTok or any sort of short form content lately, you'll know most videos start with what we call a hook. And that hook is a scroll stopper, something that as soon as people see that, they want to continue watching the video. So with this proposal, I took the approach of, okay, I want them as they're scrolling through the different freelancers, because if you don't know, when a client put a job on Upwork, <laughs> they'll see one or two sentences of your proposal. So you want that bit to, you know, spark enough curiosity in them for them to want to click see more and 
you want to stand out. So a little bag story on this brand. This is a brand that makes underwear that filters out your fart smell. <laughs> it's totally random, totally funny, <laughs> right up my alley. So I started my proposal with, oh my God, such a funny idea. I'm in with a winky tongue out emoji. <laughs> Sorry, I can't wink for the life of me. But that caught their eye, apparently. And then I said, hey, Sylvia here. Thanks for the invite, of course. I would love to help you spread the message. I even have some ideas already because straight away from looking at their brand on socials, I had a bajillion ideas and I was super excited. And then I actually shared those ideas. So again, not gatekeeping anything, especially if you're new, you don't have those reviews, you don't have a big portfolio likely. So you wanna show them that you can do it. If I sit here and I just say, I can do a cartwheel. You don't know if I can do a cartwheel, I really can't. But if I send them a video of me doing a cartwheel, they'll believe me. That's a very random example. I don't know how I came up with that, but you get to drill. So what I did here was I shared my thoughts on the brand and I shared the ideas that I had. So I actually said, after seeing some of the top TikToks you have, I noticed something. The responses to the video with the woman versus the man are drastically different. And that was so interesting. And then I went a little bit further and said, comments on the woman says it's gross. Remember it's a fart filtering <laughs> underwear while on the men, people are tagging each other saying they need it. Talk about a double standard. That could be interesting to create content around, maybe even calling people out. Honestly, it sends a potential. I'd even be happy to film, edit, and post them all myself. So again, making myself available to help as much as possible, as much as they need me to, and as much as they have the budget for. And then I said, I think a good one would be doing a video around lactose intolerance because yeah. And also we could even do something simple and quick. Like I just farted and you would never know. Again, such a random thing to be saying in a job proposal, but here we are. And then I finished up by saying overall, I'd lean on the funny slash relatable slash self deprecating almost feel of it. And I think we have a winner here. What do you say? Let's do this or what? So, couple things here. The hook really, I think, sold it. At least it got the client to see my proposal. Then I shared my excitement for the job. That's always important. I showcased that I looked at their brand and looked at their social media. That shows that I did my homework, that I didn't just copy and paste this. Then I shared the ideas, like I said. And I finished off with a, what do you say? Let's do this or what? I like to finish with some sort of question. Now this was kind of a rhetorical question. So not my typical call to action, but again, given the nature of the job, and I'll say this, most freelancing jobs are probably not that professional. You typically don't need to suit and tie and everything like that. I like to take more casual approach and clients always seem to like that. Don't write like you were writing to the king or the queen. Try to write as if you were writing to one of your peers or that may be just my style, but I've seen a lot of clients resonate with that. So that may be something to try. The client said, Sylvia, I feel like you get it and have the type of personality that would work really well with my brand. I typically get that response to my videos, but apparently I got through my personality in the text. Lee said, I know it's a cheeky product, but it really does solve a real problem that people have. I think people in general like the self deprecating humor of it, which I did mention. I'm looking for someone could definitely be you just to take over my socials with content creation, editing and posting. Once again, he sent me the offer and I accepted it and we started working together this week. It's all about having a good proposal game. That being said, if you've been sending proposals and you feel like they haven't been working, I would encourage you to take a step back because I do believe a good profile should come first. So I would encourage you to start there, fully complete your profile until it gets to that 100% mark. 
And by the way, here's five things your profile must have in order for you to start or continue sending proposals. So go check it out. I'll see you there.